Hello again, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel. I'm your host, Prince Magnum. Welcome once again to an episode of In Your Face. You know when I get on uh, camera for In Your Face, you know it's going to be off the wall, it's going to be funny, uh, it's going to be informative, and it's, as the title says, In Your Face. For quite a while now, I just, I've always mentioned that, um, that I, um, that I have, you know, that I work, you know, for a living. I talk about it all the time, and, but I've never really come out and said. And then briefly, I've preluded to the fact that I work in fast food. And currently, I've been promoted to being uh, a maintenance man. Um, I'm very proud of this. Uh, after all the things that I've gone through, let's, let's, if you've not kept up with the channel, let's travel, you know, let's kind of travel back in time, just travel back. I'll tell you all about it. First and foremost, um, I am retired as a certified nurse's aide, certified med tech with insulin certification. If none of you know what that means, certified nurse's aide uh, slash certified medication technician. I pass medicine for a living with insulin certification. I could give insulin shots and, uh, and things like that. Um, I did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. However, towards the end of uh, the time in the medical field, one of the things that I dealt with was uh, the fact that I kept taking staph infections. And the medical field was changing a little bit. Um, I'm kind of glad I got out when I, I had to get out when I did. Um, my last year of nursing, uh, staff had actually, you know, you know uh, staff had started becoming uh, a little bit more aggressive than I've ever seen. And more in particular, I was contracting uh, the the staph virus known as uh, uh, MRSA or MRSA, and uh, that's where this little scar right here. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, uh, but the little scar right here came from. That was from my very first one. Could have almost lost my left eye, um, and basically, I kept taking staph infections. And finally, there at the end. Uh, it was about my tenth one. I had a, I had one right next to my spine, right over here on this side. I still got a nice little scar over there. It was right next to the spine. I ended up having a small stroke. My body could not handle it. Um, so I tried to hang in there. I took another three more staph infections, and because of the politics and everything, I just got out. I couldn't do it anymore. I was done. <coughs> so what happens then? is uh, I started trying to work factories and I dealt with problems in, um, with my left hand but I soon learned how to overcome them. Uh, the very first factory job I had was working at a place called Harmon Becker making radios. I started off making radios for Harley Davidson for the Harley Davidson Road King and then I moved uh, to the Chrysler cell. If you have any radios, uh, basically if you have a Chrysler from about 2011 to 2012 there's an excellent chance I may have made the radio in your car um, after that time I worked briefly in a magnet factory then I worked at Rawlings and then all this stuff happened over one of my kids a uh, dirty police officer need I say and in the end I was stuck uh, with a felony for a crime I didn't commit so even if I wanted to go back to nursing here in Missouri uh, businesses are actually allowed to discriminate against felons. So um, after all of that, I, you know, I returned to the workforce and oftentimes I struggled because of the simple fact that, guess what, uh, there's not too much out there. Uh, you know, I took temp jobs working different factories and things like that and oftentimes um, it just wasn't any good. So when we were looking at coming back down this way here to St. Francis County. I didn't want any more factories, and honestly, there's not that many down here to begin with. I mean, the ones that are down here, they're pretty tight. You know, you get it onto a job like that, they don't turn loose of them. So, you know, what do you do? Um, so I basically, I had to go somewhere. Um, so I went to uh, a fast food job that I held briefly, uh, probably like uh, eight years prior. Uh, during one of the times I had taken some time off from nursing and I went there and uh, asked 
it to be rehired. And uh, the job was at a McDonald's in Farmington, uh, the one over on Karsh. Uh, to those of us who work with McDonald's, we know that place is Farmington One. It's probably one of the oldest standing McDonald's here, in, uh, you know, one of the oldest ones still standing that hasn't been rebuilt and revamped and all that good stuff. Uh, so I went there and uh, I've been there for over two years. Um, basically, uh, I train people, I do maintenance, um, one of the top-notch cooks, but the one thing I, am, I don't think I'll ever get away from is the fact that I am known as the Henri guy in St. Francis County, uh, or, or the funny McDonald's guy. So, you know, there you have it. I mean, I work at a McDonald's. I'm, uh, for the longest time, I was ashamed of that fact, but I came to the conclusion that most of my subscribers know me from McDonald's, and at this point, I probably shouldn't be ashamed of that fact. Um, so, in celebration of all the wonderful people that I work with, um, I kind of threw together almost like a little slideshow music video. Um, you're going to see some of the goofiness that, uh, that I portray there uh, with my other co-workers, you know, things like that. You're going to, uh, just some good people that I work with, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit afterwards, and then... Uh, you know, and then we're going to end it as usual, so. Come along, children. Now we're going to have a little music, like old times. Look, now I'll start the melody on the organ. <laughs>
Well, welcome back. Um, that little clip you just seen, that was only a handful of the people I work with. There's a lot of good people there. And uh, I didn't have a camera to do selfies with. Um, my tablet does have the capabilities of doing that, but the camera quality is really kind of horrible with that one. So we used the Spirit Cam and I would have somebody hold it. And uh, um, you gotta have a steady hand with that thing. Uh, the Spirit Camera, even just the slightest jolt will throw it off. Um, but uh, basically, um, they gave me a place to go and work and everything, and, uh, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, so I thought it would be really nice if I showcased uh, some of the wonderful people that I work with. We have couples that work there, that actually met there. Um, uh, briefly, I even worked with another married couple. They're a lot, they, they were a lot of fun to listen to from time to time. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it was just, you know, it's, it's, let's just say I'm grateful that, uh, that, that I have the job that I have because there's not too many places for a broken down old med tech that has been wrongly accused of a crime he didn't commit. There's not too many places for people like me. So they gave me a job, they put me to work, and, uh, I can't thank them all enough for putting up with me because that thing with the broom, that's only one of the many things that I do there. And, uh, and I think it's time I, I uh, give credit where credit is due. Um, again, thank you all for watching this video and uh, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Uh, I had a great time, great time. Um, a big shout out to uh, everybody I work with. Thank you all so much for putting up with me. And uh, if you like stuff like this, if you like this sort of stuff, as always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And as usual, get out there and work on a project. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. Um, if you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet. And above all, if nobody has told you that they love you today, Prince Magnum does. God bless you, and have a happy 24. Thank you.